Russ. Sorry, Russ. Obrigado. Olá, bom dia. Um, obrigado por me convidar aqui. É, é, me desculpo. <risos> Lamento que o meu português é muito ruim. É, mas, uh, uh, então, hoje uh, uh, vou apresentar em inglês. Mas uh, prometo tentar aprender mais a cada vez que vou. <risos> So thank you and, and welcome. I'm very happy and proud to be here. It's my first time in Brazil. And I know if you're from Rio, I know I need to go to Rio as well. I will get there, I promise, someday. <laughs> um, today I'm going to talk just a little bit about Amazon and Kindle and how we see the business around the world. First, just about Amazon. And again, for me to be in Brazil and talk about a company named Amazon is I'm very, we're very proud that our company is named after the Great River here. As I pointed out, if in the U.S. today, if you look at the transition from books, printed books, to digital, I believe it's happening in an extremely orderly and constructive way. If you look at the financial results of the great publishers in the United States, they're having some of their most profitable years ever right now. And There'll always be a tension between these things because understandably, digital reading and digital book selling and digital publishing is the biggest change that any of us will see in the business in the time we work in it. This seems unquestionably true. And so as a result, when you have a change that big, people just, fear might be a strong word, but they want to go slow and they want to take time and they want to try and figure it out and I think we understand that position sometimes but if we're too slow and we don't think of the needs of the customer my concern is less about say print books, print books versus digital books although this is in the mind of many publishers understandably my concern is books versus music or video games or movies or email and Twitter Because these are the things, you know, book selling used to be about picking a store location. It still is, of course, about picking a good location. And when somebody walks into the store, lay it out in a way so when they walk around, the chances they find something they're looking for or maybe discover something they didn't even intend to buy happen and they leave with more stuff. That is great retailing and you have great, great booksellers in your country. Digital books is, it's 8.30 on Tuesday night. I have two hours before I go to sleep. Am I going to watch a movie, or am I going to read a book, or am I going to play Angry Birds? <laughs> This is book selling today. And, if we, and if, we do, if we pretend that that's not true, we're going to miss an opportunity. So our concern is to help books compete. Part of the reason we have focused so hard on what readers want and how to help make it attractive is because we know the choices they have in other media for their time are also always present, very powerful, and very effective. And so that's the tension sometimes. I think we may be thinking about that problem, okay. and some publishers may be thinking about, oh, my print business versus my digital business. And I understand that, but it's not the only problem to focus on. All right. I have a question here that might be a little, a little controversial, but I cannot escape to ask. Uh, is Amazon going to you know, respect the the least price of the books, I mean the cover price that traditionally the publishers suggest the price and the booksellers, the brick and mortar booksellers, they use this price. How do you, what can you comment about this? Well, uh, I want to make it clear about two things, which is in everywhere in the world that we operate, we respect the contracts that we have with publishers. Even if people sometimes say that we negotiate hard, If we come to an agreement, we live by the agreement. And, you know, this, the record on this is clear. You can ask anyone in the business. That's how we run the business. The second thing is, of course, we respect the law. And we operate today in many countries, both digital and print, where there is even fixed pricing for books. And, of course, we respect the law. So today, Amazon is the largest print bookseller in Japan and in Germany. In those countries, everybody sells books at the same price. So it's already very clear that 
success for us is not just simply a matter of discounting. I think that's far too simplistic a way to think about the business. And of course, even in the countries where we have a business, we, have a, we already have a strong vested interest in content being a very profitable business, not just for booksellers, but publishers and writers too, because without them we don't have a bookseller business. 